So it looks like uh, Android 10 is available for the Google Pixel 3a XL. This is the T-Mobile variant. Uh, I assumed it would be available, but wasn't positive, so it's going to add a dark theme. Uh, more stupid gestures. Uh, privacy. Blah, blah, blah. So it's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Again, this is the T-Mobile variant. I got it directly from T-Mobile. Uh, so it's downloading now. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. So I guess it officially came out on September 4th, I believe. Today is the 5th. Or maybe. So it was probably available yesterday. I just didn't. Sometimes, you know, there's a delay with the carrier variant of a phone. But I guess the Pixel is got enough cloud where they can make sure it comes out on their proper time. So you can see it's a pretty large file. Uh, my Wi-Fi is Google Wi-Fi, well, Spectrum's the internet, Google Wi-Fi is my router. And I should be getting 420 down, so we'll see how long this takes. I'm going to edit the video down, of course, but I'll give you an idea of where I believe how long this takes. Finally starting to see some progress. Alright, so it's finally done installing, and now we're optimizing apps. Alright, so now we have the update. Uh, let me go ahead and restart it. See the new Android logo. All right, so now let me open her up. So this is a little icon up here. Silent notifications, Android system. It's a different looking logo. I guess that's the cube. I got it. So let's gotta wait for that to finish. I guess. Oh, this is white. We're gonna change it to dark and see how that looks after the fact. So you can see Android version 10. It's on the September 5th security patch. We'll check for an update. Uh, let's say it doesn't have one course. So let's go back to, and let's just click on this guy. Alright, so let's just see if this old trick works. There we go. Android 10 is any kind of game. Oh, you can move the zero around. Let's see. But then I kind of get no game other than moving this around, I guess. Vibrate when you do that. Alright, I guess not. So let's go ahead and go to settings. First thing we'll do is go to display, and there's dark theme. And there we go, that's dark. <laughs> it's definitely like a full blacked out screen and you can see how dark these guys are uh, I'm going to check the calendar calendar is also dark I got to blur this out of course because it's my stuff uh, clock was already dark so messages was already dark Uh, I'm assuming photos should be dark now, right? Yeah, I'll say it looks like uh, everything should be dark. Now, let's see what kind of new gestures we have, right?
aerial system navigation. You can do two button. Oh, go back to the three button finally. That's good. They took that away. When this thing first came out, so now you got. I kind of like the two button. I don't think I like this one. If you do this, I think there's nothing there, right? You're just swiping. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I don't even know how to get back to it. Oh yeah, so I don't care about that at all. So you just wipe up to go home, I guess, and then this way to go back. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, big time. I'm going back to the two gestures. I kind of got used to that, and I like it. Here, just wipe up to get this little guy. Uh, in addition to uh, the features I've shown already, there's this digital well-being was already there. If you use that, apparently it has something called focus mode. I don't use this anyhow, so it doesn't really matter to me. And then there's an add addition of the privacy section here that uh, apparently wasn't previously there. So not really a big deal for me either. Uh, the best for me is the dark mode and then, of course, uh, the option to bring back the three buttons down here if you want that instead of the gestures. And obviously, you like to have a new update and have it on the latest security patch. Uh, some people had reports of theirs bricking, or not bricking, but getting hung up and taking like six hours. But obviously, this is the T-Mobile Pixel 3a XL. I got directly from T-Mobile. Uh, and the update was readily available, and I had no problems installing it. So, yeah, so again... If you're in this price range, uh, Pixel 3a is a strong contender on T-Mobile. Uh, I also like the T-Mobile Revelry Plus. I have a video on that, but the Pixel 3a L is a strong uh, contender for your budget to mid-range dollars there, right? All right, thanks for checking me out.